all of you know we are peculiarly a long state. We have the second longest coastline. We have four operational ports. Uh, four more are going to come on stream in the next uh, uh, 24 months. Saying that, uh, again, uh, just to recap, uh, the Anantapur region, which is the southern tip, which borders by, uh, Kar uh, Karnataka, is the automotive valley. And I think Kia is a great example of speed of doing business. We've done it, we've proven it. I think India can move. Uh, so, again, Kia is doing exceptionally well uh, based out of Andhra Pradesh. Then that brings us to Karnul, which is our entire renewable energy hub. The solar, wind, pump storage, hydro projects are coming out of there. And uh, post the drone summit, um, the Honorable CM has announced that Karnul will be our drone valley. So, you'll, uh, we're going to create a sandbox from a regulatory framework perspective and so on and so forth to get Karnul started. Uh, in that ecosystem. Uh, Chitur and Kadapa is now the electronics hub. Uh, we were manufacturing close to 25% of the cell phones uh, in India. Last five years, it was a bit of a pause in that sense. So we have actually degrown back to 5%. Uh, we now need to sort of reinvigorate that entire ecosystem, but we already have amazing players. Andhra manufactures almost 50% of India's uh, air conditioning. And there's going to be a few announcements uh, in the white goods space coming out soon. So it's not just about the high tech, we also care about the low tech. Jobs get created across the spectrum. Prakasam district is where your entire biofuels uh, ecosystem is coming out as part of an ICE policy, uh, integrated clean energy policy. We have the entire biofuel ecosystem coming out of Prakasam district. Of course, Krishna uh, Guntur is all about the capital region. And Amravati, which was on a pause, will now be accelerated. Government of India has been very kind and uh, we are going to see close to about five, six billion dollars worth of investment coming in to a greenfield uh, city that India has not really built uh, for the last uh, you know, few decades. So this will be in a true spirit, a greenfield city where it's not just about capital alone, it's about social infrastructure, creating economic activity up there. So uh, Amravati will be on hyperdrive. Uh, works are expected to start by December. 